Okay, everyone, it is video time, and I <laughs> I wanted to just do a video of checking on my pens after using this pen for a whole week. I did get some comments of um, people just saying that it was a very helpful video. I'm glad it was helpful for you. Um, I think it's a good opportunity to look at, you know, spend time with the pen if it's new. Um, and the ink and see what you like and don't like about it throughout the week. So one thing I would say is that I still gravitate towards this one. So for some reason, even though I have this new one that I got this week, um, I'm reaching for this one again as if like my mind is already trained to just not right with anything else and to just reach for this one. So that's one of the things I've noticed. And um, I have to, it's almost like a little bit effort just to get my, wrap my mind around the fact that I don't have to write with this one only anymore. So anyway, I wanted to just check on my other pens and I thought we could do that on camera. So I have these pen cases and this one and this one. So I'm not entirely sure how I want to do this. It would be nice for it to be very well organized and this video is not going to be that. It's gonna be a little chatty, could be a little long, um, but I already had majority of these pens inked up, probably besides this one. I inked this one up this week, this past week, while I was only using this pen. And I inked it up just to make sure that the nib was working and that everything was looking good. And so I have an Instagram video of this. Um, so what do I have in here? I have quite a few pens that I've been using for a while. I have my Platinum Plaisir, which I'm not too concerned about. I have a Mont Blanc 145, which I need to check on. Um, my Traveler's Notebook or Traveler's Company pen. I have a Moon Man, I think it's a C1. Yeah, that, look at the nib. I need to clean that. But I had just re-inked it maybe a week and a half ago. I have a Le Bon, a, two sailors. I know I just re-inked this one last weekend and the sailor as well. I haven't written with this one in a while. So I need to look into that. What else? This one still has ink in it, so um, I'm going to use that up until the ink is done and then clean it out and give it a break. And my Euroliku, whoa, I caught it. I caught the pen. Um, so I have been storing additional pens either like here or in between. Um, and this one just fell on my lap, so I caught it. It didn't hit the ground. So this is a Franklin Kristoff, which is inked. I have my Briolette. I have my Mr. Cypress and the Edison Pen Company. I find that this case works better with pens that don't have clips because you can see the thickness of this material. Even though it doesn't seem very thick, this portion of it is quite thick and it's, I f I'm afraid that it could be bending the clip outward. And then last but not least are all my colorful pens that are still inked up and I need to write with them. Um, I have noticed that my platinum celluloid pens dry out quite quickly. I don't know what it is but not just this one, but my other platinum celluloid for some reason dries out and I have to like jumpstart it. So we'll see how these are writing and I will show you an example of my newest edition. 
And then we have some of these others that I'm a little concerned about. Oh, and I have a new pen from Tailored Pen Company, which is this one. And I think I talked about this in a recent video. And, <clears throat> and then this beautiful wood woodworks, I think it is. I love how the edges are kind of rounded and it's not too sharp of an edge on the flat tops of theirs. There is one I'm getting commissioned and it's been in the works um, for a while now. I will say that this case is really nice. It's getting like scratches and everything, but it, I would avoid putting pens that have some type of plating on them. So like this, that have the plating or the clip or the silver ones because they can tarnish in this leather sleeve. And I found that true with my pen I haven't talked about because I would say it's probably my uh, most regrettable pen so far uh, because the nib doesn't work. I've had to take it back um, because it didn't come with the, the plunger. So it's been a disaster and even though I finally got it back, it's still not great. I've tried to do a few things with the nib. It's still not great. Like it just doesn't write very well and it's very disappointing. The whole, the whole process. <clears throat> and that is my Visconti Homo Sapiens fountain pen. I haven't talked about it because I'm just not quite sure what I want to do with it yet. So let's look into this. I know this is a Franklin Kristoff. And I'm actually quite surprised this extra fine nib was not my favorite. And I just, it did not come on this pen. I actually switched it out, which is a convenience um, of the Franklin Kristoff pens. You could just switch out the nib with anything. So if I didn't like this nib, I can just buy a nib from their shop and replace it. But for some reason, this nib works great in this pen body and with this ink. So no issues. This is an extra fine. It writes quite well. Honestly, right now I can't tell you the ink that I have, I have in here. But this is just a test, just to test everything out. Let's see. Let's just make sure my Mont Blanc is doing okay. So I have an ink in here that I'm still like unsure about. It's one of my new inks. And it's just quite, it's weird. It's, it looks gray, but it's like coming out a green brown. I don't know, I'm not in love with it. And this is a medium nib. Oh, 
Okay, so this is my Sailor Cure Azure. Um, this is the Kroger. And it's a, I think it's, yeah, a hard, medium, fine. I'm just using one of the cartridges. So this was the cartridge. But I got, and it's the... Neo Sumir cartridge. So this one definitely doesn't disappoint. And the ink is pretty legible. Let's try my Sailor Pro Gear Mini. This is like the first models of the Mini because it has a screw cap similar to a Twisby. And this has a, um, a fine nib, but this nib wasn't the original that came with. The original does have a black grip, but I have it on a different pen. And funny thing is that this one is a 14 karat gold and it has more feedback than my Pro gear. My Pro gear writes as if it doesn't have feedback. And then the ink is Iroshizuku Fukugaki. And then this is the newest one. And it was a set. And I didn't realize, I don't know if you know but if someone knows let me know that the sailor has a couple different logos i thought sailors that looked like this um which are different than this one this one has more detail and this one's really simple um i thought that these were knockoffs because even the nib does not say 1911 so let me show you. So I'm not sure what is the difference between these two. I can't find much information on the Sailor website on why these are different. So if anyone knows, please let me know. You may be able to hear that. This one has quite a lot of feedback, but it's still comfortable. It's not like scratchy. This is a fine. And it was a gift. It was in a gift set type packaging. So it came with this and the ink. And I have no idea what ink this is. I guess I can do Google Translate to try to get that information. But it wasn't available on the packaging. So I'm not sure what ink this is. I do know I don't have this ink, which makes it nice. Um, but yeah, so... All three of these write differently, but they're very comfortable. And I feel like I have so much more control over my sailors when I write with them uh, overall in comparison to a lot of other brands. Some of the other brands are very, they're very um, smooth and they just, 
it's almost like you don't even need much effort, but then you can lose control of it. So your letters become a little bit less clean. And um, that's, that's usually what I mean by losing control. So this is a Laban. And I have that Lamy Obsidian ink, the crystal ink in here. I think this is called the 325 model. And it just has the black and the um, marbling. Um, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but it's just, it shows the colors. And this one actually has more weight than pretty much all the pets I've showed so far. It's, it has a lot of weight and it doesn't post well. I mean, it can post, but it's flimsy and might fall off. So this is a fine. And this is a really good writer. But I have found that I may have gotten lucky with this one. This was my first Lebon. And since then, I've had two other Lebons and they've wrote poorly. So um, I think you have to, it's not as consistent as I imagined. So here's one. And these are from... This one's from a maker I found on Instagram, and um, whoa, seems a little loose. Woodworks Pen Company. I believe is the name, and this has just a generic Yovo nib on it. It's a fine. And this is one of the best Yovo nibs I've had on a pen without having to do anything to it. Um, on a pen from a pen turner, you know, who makes their own pens. This is like one of the best nibs. It doesn't have any special branding on the nib, just because it's a generic nib, but it works great. So this one is the honeycomb one and... Okay, so I had to pause for a second just to verify. I didn't want to get the names incorrect, but this one is on a whim woodworks and then this one is tailored pen company. It has a Yovo nib, but they do stamp it or etch it with their logo. And this one, again, is just a fine. I really like this ink. Not quite sure off the top of my head which one this is. I want to guess it is a diamine ink, but I'm not 100% sure. It's a purple, um, but I have to go back through my notes. Okay, so I've, I've checked everything except for this last set. And um, let's take a look at these pens. We have my Scribble Feel. Yeah, this one is just juicy. And this is in the medium. There's an Ebonite Feed, which is slightly different shape than my other pen with an ebonite feed. Um, 
but very juicy. The nib is very soft. I have the um, Leonardo. Is this the? I still can't get all of the designs correct, but. I think this is the Memento Magico. And I don't have the right ink in here because this pink is just it's too much for my eyes. Uh, this is a fine and very soft, comfortable nib. Uh, this pink is actually the Lamy Rhodonite, which looks like this. Then I have my Leonardo Fiore. And this is the Aqua Petra uh, color way. Really pretty. And this one's really comfortable. This is also. Oh no, this one's a medium. Uh oh. It just spits out ink. This is the Lamy Obsidian again. So that's the difference between this Lamy Obsidian and this one in the Laban. It's a smaller nib, but it's just really juicy. And comfortable. This one does have more weight to it because of the converter, which has more heavier pieces, metal pieces to it. And this at the end is just called a blind cap. And then we have an Esther book. This is my only Esther book. And this one is also a fine. This was one of two pens I've actually got, or one of three pens now that actually got work done on it. But this was one of two that I've actually sent out to get work done. And it took months to accomplish. So this one is Hardy Pen Rights. Really pretty. I do like the stopper, which has an H, which can mean Hardy Pen Rights, or it can mean my last name, since it starts with an H. And I actually put on a Franklin Kristoff nib. And this one is not writing. Yep, I can see it's a little bit gunked up. It looked like th there's enough ink. So a trick is to use some type of water. I'm just going to spritz some water on my nib and see if that will get it going. Not quite. So I think this is going to be a candidate for cleaning. So I will set that aside.
Next is the Platinum 3776 Celluloid in like the tortoise shell. And I've mentioned before how this one just, it just dries out so quickly. But also there's not really much ink in here. That was pretty much it. So this one is a candidate for cleaning and putting away. All right, I do have my traveler's note my Traveler's Company pen. Well, let's start it off. Really good. And to be honest, I haven't written with this in about f uh, four weeks. Um, this one is a fine. And it has Sailor, um, it has the same ink as my Sailor Mini in it, but I don't think whatever else was in there wasn't cleaned out very well because of me. So now it's like this dark orangey color. But technically the ink I put in here was this uh, Fuyu Gaki. And it looks like this. Okay, so this is my Mr. Cypress, my B pen. Right, oh, there's just one S, I think. Um, this one writes really good. I have noticed that depending on the ink, it will get on the threads, which is kind of frustrating. And hopefully I can clean this out considering this is a very light pen, but otherwise very comfortable. I have a Bach nib and this is in the fine. And it has a little bit of tooth to it. Um, then we have my Briolette Benu pen. With a, um, the nib, I'm not going to say it because YouTube will flag it. So, but it starts with an S and, um, I switch it out with another Benu nib but this is the medium which writes really thick so next is the edison pen company And this is a fine. So some of these colors are spreading and that's just because I think I got some of my hand um, oils on the page. Last but not least is the Moon Man. And this isn't an extra fine, but there's like a lot of nib creep. I need to clean that off. I'll probably just spray it. Um, this one has that Waldman Organic Studio ink in it. So it has a lot of sheening and it can clog up a pen. 
and then this one is an extra an extra fine and I write really well with this feed and um, this barrel and the ink so that's pretty much all I've got to share I've kind of gone through everything I know that I need to clean out these two pens everything else is pretty good I just need to start using them also I did list some pens for sale and I did a separate post about a few weeks ago and um, if you're interested in any of these Conklin's, I have two Le Bond, which is this metal pen and this pretty blue one. Um, I think that this one does need a new nib, uh, but everything else writes well. I have a Lamy here. I haven't seen these anymore. And then the Faber-Castell with the fingerprint which is pretty cool. It's like raised, so you can feel that texture. So these are for sale. I listed it a couple weeks ago. If you are interested in these, please send me an email or to reach out to me on Instagram. I know there's a few people who are interested, but I haven't heard from them. So if anyone else is interested or if you forgot, just send me an email or find me on Instagram. Everything is linked in the description box on how to reach me. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I will talk to you in the next video.